part one of this video, I talked about radius safety release valve caps and how they functioned. And I described to you the various components and how they work together to release overpressure in a stove tank. Here are the dimensions of the original radius rubber seal. The closest stock I had to the 1.1 millimeter thickness was 1.5 millimeter thickness at 16th inch nitrile. I used that. Phyton would be better. I used a concentric hollow punch to punch out both the brass and the rubber gaskets. For the safety cap gaskets, I used a 20 millimeter outer diameter and a 3 millimeter inner diameter. I beat them out on the end of an old 4x4. Fuel cap gaskets are 18 millimeters outside and 8 millimeters inside. Concentric punches can be expensive. This arch punch is a lot less expensive, about $20 for a 13 16 which would also do the job. This $10 leather workers punch found on eBay can also do all your small holes. Because the cap clamps together to hold the gaskets, you can be a little sloppy. You could even use circle templates and scissors. Here are the dimensions of the original brass seal. I used phosphor bronze 5 thousandths inch thick shim stock, the same thickness as the original seal. I punched these bronze seals with the same setup as I did the rubber ones, 20 millimeters and 3 millimeters. They came out just slightly wrinkled, so I wanted to make sure I could get those nice and flat and have them make a good seal. You can see there's a little raised portion here from the punching process. To eliminate any wrinkling or deformation, I tapped them out gently on a flat aluminum block to make them nice and flat. I annealed the bronze seals with a little heat just to make sure there weren't any stresses locked in since they do have a function of being distorted inside the cap. The new seals are nice and flexible. And there's a little oxidation after annealing that I took off with some white Scotch-Brite. One set ready to go. If this rubber was Viton, I'd probably leave it with just one hole. In my tests, it works just as good as the original with the multiple five holes. Here's putting one together. You put the rubber part down first, and then the bronze seal. Followed by the piston with its spring and the inner cap. The inner cap screws in tightly to hold the entire seal arrangement and piston arrangement in place. I used compressed air to test both the original cap and my replacement sealed cap and both came right out to about 40 pounds per square inch release point. If you really want to put in those five extra holes because it makes you feel better, then you can do that. I used a 5 32nd inch punch for that. You can use a felt tip pen to mark through the original gasket to mark where you need to punch. Here are two Radius 46s with their SRV caps renewed and refurbished, ready for another period of time. You can do it too. Thanks for watching. I hope this gets you fixed and ready to go. Have fun with your stoves.